Okay, so you got your new mattress delivered. Now you need to set this up. So we put this quick video together just to show you how easy it is to set up your hybrid mattress. So it's gonna most likely come in two boxes. You got the bigger box, you got the smaller box. King size, sometimes they'll come in three boxes, depending on if it's like a split head, but usually it's gonna come in two boxes. And the big box is gonna have the coils and the main part of the mattress. And then the smaller box is gonna have the latex layer. So let's do, let's move this one out of the way first. Let's do box one. And it's best to do it in your room, but if, I know if you have a tight room, if it's a very small, you might want to do this in the hallway or in a little bit larger room, because you got to pull this out. So, and then also doing it with two people, is a little bit easier to do with two people. One person could do it, but two people is a lot easier. All right, let's put this down. Okay. And then we have box cutter, knife. Gabe likes to show off his knife. So one person is gonna grab the box. The other person is gonna grab the mattress. And Pablo's grabbing the box, as you can see. Okay, so now you have the plastic sleeve. I would recommend if you're able to set it on the bed. It's a little bit easier when it starts to unroll, just have it already set on the bed. So let's put it on the bed. We have this plastic sleeve wrapped up very tight. You know, that's how we get it to fit in here. So this is where you gotta be very careful. Open it, because you don't want to cut the mattress. So let's see, where are my scissors at? I would do scissors or one of those little like letter openers, but I wouldn't use a, a knife or a box cutter just because you don't want to cut the mattress. Now you see here, we put the sticker says open here. You want to open on this line and this is where the mattress sides, they both meet. So there's like a little gap right here, a little space to make it easier to cut. So we're going to do it right on that line and we do it slowly. If you have to just, just kind of slide it a little quick tip. If you have the scissors just slightly open like this and you can just kind of slide it without having to do this and risk cutting it. Now it's gonna come in in multiple layers so you might have to run it by twice. And again, it's a lot easier now to see where that little gap is. So I'm gonna do it one more time, but just again, really slowly. If you have two people, then but there are some funny videos out there with the back of it. Close up. So now it kind of just, you see how it just all, that's just unfolded down. Now, here's a little tip I would recommend. This is the law label. There's really not a heavy foot on the mattress. I mean, it's kind of the same feel, but I do recommend starting with the label on the head side, and then whenever you rotate it. You now it's a good place to start, you know? Let's just rotate this really quick, Gabe. I'm gonna rotate it clockwise. Time's on the zipper. We have the shell. This is the shell of the mattress without any comfort layer. Now we're gonna unzip it. Well, you gotta open it. Sometimes the zipper just has to get set. You know, you just gotta yeah, set, set the, the zipper. zipper. It has to be opened up. Yeah, I got it. Like just go around it once, you know, just so the teeth can, can grab. So we're opening it up again because it's, the teeth needed to be set. It's brand new. Okay, let's open it up, fold the top panel over. So now right here we have this, the coils and we have the shell of the bed. Now we're gonna get box two. Where's those scissors, all right. Now box two, and here we, is a great little showing of the little warranty card. This is our your, what to expect your mattress and how to just unbox it. But we're doing this video, so this video is probably a little bit more helpful than this. And then a little bit of swag for you. And then, all right, we're gonna take out the second layer. Box out of the way. Yeah, I would recommend putting the layer on top of the latex. Now, again, you gotta be careful. This is not as fragile as cutting the cover. I mean, this is just the latex layer, so you still wanna be careful in it, but you know, sometimes, like I said, you could use one of those letter openers too. That can also help, but those could be a little bit tricky. Scissors are a little bit easier for me. So we'll try with the letter opener. Oh, scissors? Let's try the letter. Try letter opener or scissors? Let's, let's try, try the letter let's opener try and let's see opener. how it goes. The letter opener is pretty easy too. So you don't have to worry about cutting it. Kind of just have to press down on the letter opener. It can still cut the latex though. So. Yeah, you gotta be careful where you're, where you're cutting it. We have that seam like we did on them, we showed you on the last layer. So we'll, we, we wrap it twice. So you might need to go through it twice and then grab the scissors. You just shift the latex the, the direction that it should be placed. Now, one thing we want to bring to the attention is if you want to take a look, get a, get a zoom in right here. 
We did another video on it before, but you can see right on the edges, they call it freckles on the latex. It's just when there's air bubbles that get trapped. And then sometimes there is also, you can see a little discoloration on the latex. They said that they're, when they clean up all the, the machinery and stuff, sometimes the water gets like burnt on it and stuff. So it's, it gets on the latex. There is no issue with that. It doesn't affect the comfort of the mattress. It doesn't affect the support of the mattress. There's always gonna be some imperfections when it comes to any type of foam generally, but especially latex that you're dealing with natural product. So yeah, you're gonna see, see some little imperfections on that, which is not going to affect the function of the mattress. Yeah, and we just bring it up because in ours, you'll see the insides of the, the mattress. Okay, so now we just lay it down, kind of fit it in to where it should be, and then make sure that the cover is on straight. Got to get it in there as straight as possible, but there's always going to be a little bit of variance on the layer. So let's do that. Now we got it on, so now we're going to just zip it back up. You might be able to notice there's a little wrinkled, but that wrinkle is, I mean, it's normal being that it's been roll packed. It's not going to affect anything when you're sleeping on it. Yeah, you don't need to iron it out. So that's it. I This is the latex hybrid. Now, same same way to do it on the king size. King size on the top layer, you're probably gonna have two layers on the top. It's the same, the mm -hmm. same drill. One person could do it, but two people are definitely highly recommended. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, any issues on setting it up, just give us a call. Give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks again.